Kevin. Good morning. I am on my way to Pushkar. All right, new place, always exciting. Hello, Pushkar. No. Pushkar to Tuk? No, no. Thank you. No, bye. Oh, no, thank you. Betricho, go in to Pushkar? No. Dani, Dani, Bad. Dani, Bad. Bye. Nahi chahiye. Hello. Nahi, Nahi. Nahi chahiye. This is the first time I'm actually really encountering a lot of touts here. Hi. Hi. This place is definitely more on the exotic side. Supposedly, the consumption of milk and eggs is forbidden in this town, which is really refreshing. The legend is that Lord Brahma stood on this field, which used to be desert, and in order to provide for the animals and the people, he thought it would be a good idea to turn this place into a lake by dropping a blue lotus. And it happened. Here it is. So this, where the cow is standing, is where you take off your shoes. It's all barefoot, it's sacred ground, and you can put on your shoes as soon as you're up the stairs again. Pushkar is nice, dear. You find very nice people. Normally, people won't harass the hell out of you in this place. At the sacred sites, the temples, and the shoreline of this lake, people will try to provide you with a so-called puja which is a blessing, a little wristband or a little dot they put on your forehead and they will charge you horrendous amounts of money for that. It's better to say no before that happens. Also, entry to all the sacred sites and the temples is free. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. Let's go explore. Push car. I'm ready for you. Already getting the rest here to get the blessing, the Pushkar passport. You need to wear some kind of flower or lotus flower in order to be near the lake. I don't know if that's true, probably not, but people will harass you. I don't take shit, brother. Cappuccino with soy milk. They even have scrambled tofu here, even with some dark bread on the side. That looks amazing. Definitely 10 degrees warmer than in Udaipur, and it's 300 kilometers north of it. Oh, look at that, a couple of langurs sitting here. Hello there. It's like, I feel like I'm in a zoo. Namaste. I keep spotting so many cool clothes, but I can't buy so much now. Oh, sorry. No. I mean, I'm still at the start of my trip. I don't want to walk around with tons of luggage. Excuse me, brother. I don't see many tourists here, but I see some. Taking a road less traveled. Stunning building here, man. Chotu's French Bakery. That sounds pretty dope. Like all this stuff is ridiculously cheap. Let's go. The RT Vegan. That is me. I am the RT Vegan. Pushka's first and only 100% vegan eatery and shop. Wow! And you are the boss. Yes, yeah, so we opened uh, this uh, little cafe, restaurant, uh, last year on the 24th of December. Yeah. We're having a one-year anniversary on Sunday. I hope you can come. The only place in Pushkar that's vegan. It, it had to be because there's nowhere else that you can... Exactly. Yeah. You know, that yeah. you know is 100%. I mean, I heard like eggs are forbidden in this town, right? Supposedly. Yeah, 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 supposedly, but, but one does dairy. acquire them. I'm South African, oh, yeah. but I'm of Indian origin, and right. Marilu is Italian. Oh, nice. Yeah. There's an article here that oh, was yeah. done in April, so, I mean, you could take a photo and yeah, well. know more about us. But try and come, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, I will. Uh, this is where I'm staying, over there. Right opposite from where I am right now. Right, no shoes on this bridge. That's not so nice though. Poop is allowed and shoes aren't. I'm being followed.
I didn't see you. Jesus. From tomorrow on, I'm going to wear flip-flops. Shoes, sandals, and slippers are to be 40 feet away from the stairs of the lake. Let's check out this temple. People sleep in here. Bodies are handled here in India at these sacred places. Death seems to be handled with relative normality, so I wouldn't be surprised. Hello. Not a very cow-friendly environment. They walk around all over India, barely surviving, eating trash, having to deal with all the noise. It's literally all about Hinduism here. So I made a whole lap around the lake just now. Right back in the heart of the city. Hello. Hello. I went clothes shopping. Bought this little poncho, which I paid about five euro for. He wanted nine originally. I always start with a little less than half of what they ask. And then I bought those pants, which I really love. He wanted 500 rupees, I gave him 250. All in all, that's like seven euro fifty. <laughs> What a spectacle. Let me show you my hotel room. It's not as sweet as it looked in the photos. You know, we have a million light switches and only two work. Oh my God, come on, brother. This is bad. Looks clean-ish here. Yeah, this is the bathroom. This is like chana masala. And this is like uh tomato tomato. Uh, oh it's all chana masala chana and topping, yeah. Spicy pomegranate. Uh, pomegranate, ginger, tomato and put It's very good. Mix. What are they called? Potato? Tikia, tikia. Tikia. Chole tikia. Chole tikia. Chole tikia. Thank you, man. Very much. No, no, my food, baby. No, no. Give me the peli bar, you know. This is one out of many potential scams you might fall victim to in India. The woman with a baby that happened to me 20 years ago in Nepal. She will ask you to buy milk powder or other food items for a baby at the local store, which usually are horrendously expensive for Indian standards, and then she'll sell it back and keep the balance. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 Look at this palace. Take your shoes off, even the socks, wash your feet here. Let's check this beautiful blaze out. Wow, look at that. So this place is called Guru Vara Sahib, which translates into the door to the Guru. And it is a Sikh temple. There are in fact many of those doors to the Guru spread all over the country. I like how spacious it is and clean. 
not a spot on the marble. When entering a Sikh temple, you should always have your head covered. That's the case with me anyway, all the time. Written. <laughs> they have their own spices in the garden. They have a curry leaf tree over there, and lemongrass in the garden, and they make their own masala mixtures. And they have a vegan masala chai, fresh turmeric latte. And every dish here is 350 rupees. Oh man, they even have a pushkar rose cheesecake. You know, if you're a vegan, you know what that means. It's not like come across these things all the time especially not here in India this is a Japanese curry these guys make their tofu and the soy milk by themselves here so this pulp is called okara soy pulp the leftover you get when you produce soy milk it tastes amazing so good with the spices mm. do not miss this place later guess who was hanging around my hotel this fella these two right by the car wreck of course and this little cutie hello And this is my hotel. I don't know about you, but I think cows are not supposed to be in uh, situations like this. <sighs> it's nice and quiet now. I don't know what it is though. It seems like nowhere in India, no matter how calm it is, it's possible to catch a breath of fresh air. There's always some kind of scent, some kind of smoke in the air, something is burned somewhere. Yeah, it always smells like cow poop or something, you know, I thought yeah. I'd love to do breath work, but that always puts a little bit of a damper on that State of the house, you can tell the monsoon is leaving its traces Supposedly it's very hot and very humid, a lot of rain in the summer First glimpse, the house looks really really charming and nice But there's mold everywhere, color is peeling off of the walls Still it's kind of charming The colorful lights and the art on the walls it always makes up for that this is my door, a disco ball with a lotus right at my doorstep. <laughs> That's so cute. All right, guys, I'm going to bed now. I call it a day and I'll see you tomorrow.